Hello everyone and welcome for this new video. So in today's video I'm going to show you how I paint this beautiful uh, chrysocolla stone and reef inspired painting. Um, I, pa I paint this one on a thick paper and yeah I'm starting here with my background color uh, that will be a teal color. Uh, all of this painting is made with acrylic paint. If you want the full uh, video, you can now subscribe on my Patreon page where I explain everything, where I'll show you all of the brands that I use and all of my secrets and tips. Uh, you will have the link down in the description. So I continue my background with uh, some dark blue, uh, green glazing and white just to give a little more depth into my piece and give a notion vibes. I will add some little, I call them islands because they look like islands view from the sky, uh, you will see later. Here I'm keep adding whites and darker shade just to give more contrast and give yeah, a beautiful look to the piece. You guys, this one, this is my favorite brush. This is a lining brush. I think it is from uh, Raphael. It's an expensive brush, but a really good brush to make uh, lining works. It holds a lot of paint so you can draw long lines without going uh, to your paint uh, every time. So now I will paint the little islands that I've talked about earlier and it will give a nice uh, reef look like ocean view from the sky. Um, yeah, you will see. And I basically just paint with my dark brown, yellow ochre and black just to give some texture in these little earth uh, islands. And it gives a beautiful contrast with the blue because um, orange and these warmer tones gives uh, an opposite color to the blue and that's why it's uh, it's looking uh, beautiful to the eyes. I like also adding some blue glazing on top of this um, dark blue just to give a pop of color and to get more saturated colors. I will continue to add a darker blue just to give again more contrast to the piece. I also like to use some Posca pen. This is uh, acrylic markers that I like to use often on my paintings just to accentuate the highlights and yeah. It works like magic, no need to have, you don't need to have any uh, small brush or a specific paint, it's really easy to use. Now I'm highlighting the island parts with some uh, yellow ochre and I will add more uh, different layers of colors. Here I wanted to make like uh, marble cracks you see on, on stone, but uh, yeah, with some white and my favorite lining brush.
it's time uh, to add a little bit more highlights and then at the end I will add also some gold uh, details with gold leaves Now I'm redoing some masking tape part because I will add my gold lines so I don't want my gold to stick on the white edges that I've made. So I will apply as usual my uh, gold gilding paste. This is the gold uh, leaf glue with my brush and then I will let it dry and then apply my gold leaves on top. Now that my glue is dry, I can apply the, the gold leaves on the lines that I've, create, that I've created. Then I will clean everything and get, and it will get two coats of varnish, of eye gloss varnish, uh, just to give a beautiful shine and to get more contrasted colors. So here is the result. Uh, Hope you've liked this video, hope you've liked this type of art. As I said, you have the full video now available on Patreon if you want to learn my techniques. I wish you all a nice day. Thank you for watching and thank you to all of my patrons out there who helped me uh, continue my art journey. I will have new videos soon for you, so stay tuned and see you. Bye. Bye guys.